Good morning and welcome to Monday Morning Message. Wanted to jump in and kind of recapture what took place on last week with PLCs. I want to thank Ms. Blair and Ms. Woodruff for an amazing job once again of preparing our core teachers, but really all of our teachers, for the Foundation for Quality Instruction. Certainly that is at the very core or the root of what we do here at PVHS. Keep in mind that in four weeks, and I know we have been fast forwarding through seemingly the school year is, is, is just evaporating uh, right before our eyes, but we are headed fast forward to the first semester ending. And again, four weeks uh, uh, starting from today, we will be taking semester exams on the 16th, 17th, and 18th of December. So certainly folks, when we start talking about the six standard-based assessments that have to be a part of our grading or our assessing for this particular nine weeks, it's very, very critical that you have these assessments in entered into I now in addition to the other assessments that we do in an effort to gauge whether or not our students are mastering the standards set forth. So please make sure that you're conscientious of what our timeline as we move forward in respect to getting to the finish line for this semester. Now, of course, there are those two weeks when we get back from break that we're looking at, and I'll know more as I attend principal's meeting this upcoming Wednesday as to how we're going to go about using or how to best utilize those two weeks in an effort to try to continue to impact uh, student performance. I'm also kind of toying with the ideal about how can we have every single student in the building from 9th through 12th uh, to be able to earn a college and career readiness indicator within those two weeks. So uh, certainly we're going to put our heads down uh, and uh, try to see what we need to do. Uh, or should I say put our heads together, <clears throat> not down, <laughs> in an effort to see what we need to do uh, to make this uh, come to fruition. Also, in the PLCs, we talked about uh, establishing very clear learning targets that are aligned, of course, to our content standards, having great bell ringers, uh, segues into what we want to learn. And let's make it transparent, folks. We want every student to know what the expectations are when they come into your classroom in respect to how they are going to learn and, more importantly, what they're going to learn. And as you reflect, because without reflection there is no growth, and determine whether or not what you taught for that day uh, really and truly uh, galvanized and, and permeated uh, within your, your learners. Because I say this and I say it all the time, uh, learning is not taking place, or should I say teaching is not taking place unless learning is taking place. We have great presenters, but if in fact students aren't learning, then the reality is that we're not teaching. So we have to do a very good job in making sure that there is residue, there is evidence of what it is that we claim that we're doing for students in classes, uh, that they're mastering that. And if not, then we need to make sure that we're looking at our RTI tools. And again, in our uh, respective Google Drives, there is just an enormous amount of information, uh, skills, strategies, tools, etc., in an effort to try to help you uh, to best implement these things in an effort to help our students through pedagogy. Because you know, like I know, uh, we have to make sure and ensure uh, that our students are grasping these concepts. Also make sure that you have your parent call log. I know that's something that Ms. Woodruff uh, was very, very much adamant about making sure as she pulled those call logs that you're making contact with parents. Let's get parents on board and do our absolute very best to try to support what our students' needs are on a day-to-day. -day. Also, uh, let's keep in mind that, uh, of course, when we think about, you know, good foundational tools uh, for planning, it certainly starts with great, great lesson plans. It, it starts with, you know, thinking about the end in mind. I know that sounds a bit cliche -ish, but ultimately, where do you want your students uh, to be? What do you want your students to know as a, as, a, as, a, uh, as a result of good quality instruction? And certainly we want to make sure that the students, of course, understand what those steps are, progressional steps are through the instructional processes. Uh, and you cannot teach anything unless you have good classroom management. And we talked about that in the PLCs, about having a management plan and following through uh, on that plan, being very consistent in what you do on a day in, day out. Just because we have seven 70% of our student body uh, that qualify for a free and reduced lunch. Poverty is not a learning disability. 
And so we make sure that we're doing our due diligence in, again, contacting parents, working with students, setting very high expectations, and helping and giving those students support as we have them to obviously push through. They're going to have productive struggles. We get that. But they need to be able to be equipped with the skill set, those prerequisite skills to push through and get to where we're trying to take them. Uh, certainly, I want to say that Ms. Blair is going to uh, be sending to each and every teacher a evaluation uh, of me. So you get an opportunity uh, to be as critical as you want to be. Uh, certainly, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I want feedback. There's only one way that I can grow as a principal at Pittsburgh Valley High School is if I get honest and quality feedback from the folks that I serve. And I serve each and every one of you here at Pittsburgh Valley. So we're going to be getting that, uh, that survey out to you very quickly. I want you to answer that survey and get it back to me so I can begin uh, looking at some things that we need to shore up as we move forward to close the semester and also get us going in a positive uh, direction as it relates to the, uh, the second semester. And again, like I said, yes, we certainly want to take a moment to celebrate uh, moving from a failing school to a 79 uh, on the A through F report card in four years, but certainly that is not the end game. Uh, we want to continue to ascend moving upwards. Uh, and so that being said, there's some work to be done and we all uh, have to join hands in the work that needs to be done for our students if we want to continue to grow. That being said, here at Pittsburgh Valley High School, we will continue to promote achievement, respect, and success. Do have a very productive week, and let's continue the great job that we're doing for our students. Thank you.